So we've got another swarm of bees. I was sitting in the house at the kitchen table and I could see this swarm in the air. So I figured you guys would like to see it in action. So look at all those bees. You can see them right there on that tree. They're starting to gather on that cedar tree. Anyway, as soon as they land, we're going to be uh, putting them into a new box, giving them a new home. It's super windy today. I don't know if you can hear them or not. They're actually pretty quiet. Usually you can hear a swarm from a long ways off. I believe they came out of that far left box over there. Um, not really sure why. We, uh, about a week ago, I split that hive. So that hive over there didn't have a queen. Or at least I didn't think it had a queen. I took the queen out and put her over here in a new box. So I'm really surprised to see a swarm. But anyway. I'm glad they landed there so that we can we can uh, catch them and put them in another box. So I'm going to try to uh, pretty much bend the whole tree over and shake them off into a box. I hate to cut trees down if I don't have to, which I know is odd because uh, you guys seen quite a bit of tree cutting this fall. But anyway, I want to save that cedar tree, so I'm going to try to bend it over and shake them off into a box.
this successful. It's so hard to uh, know if you get the queen bee or not. Um, if the queen bee is in this box, then the rest of the bees will go right in there. I can just leave the box here and all the bees will be there in the morning. You can kind of see. bees there with um, their butts sticking up in the air. They're actually exposing the mesonoff gland, which is a pheromone or signal that uh, tells all the other bees to come here, or down here kind of thing. into the box, this box here. See if I can tell what's going on. Didn't bring any tools. So it does look like this box is the one that swarmed. There's just uh, there's not many bees left here.
not seeing any eggs or brood yet. So that tells me that we don't have a laying queen. So I have a feeling that uh, since this is a hive that I split, when you split them they raise multiple queens and more than likely when one of the virgin queens hatched they decided to swarm and uh, oh yep there's a, a hatched queen cell right there recently hatched <coughs> and then there is another one that is getting ready to hatch here's another one that is hatched let me make sure you guys can see that. So right here is a hatched queen cell. Down here is another hatched queen cell. So more than likely what happened, um, multiple queens hatched out and they decided to swarm with one of them. And then one of them will stay here. So, uh, virgin queens actually make a noise, and I just heard it. If I hear it again, I'll put it up to the microphone and see if you guys can hear it. I think it's called piping. It's very difficult to find a virgin queen because um, her abdomen isn't swelled yet. <coughs> Whenever she flies out to mate uh, and comes back and starts laying eggs, her abdomen swells and she gets quite a bit bigger and uh, it's easier to find her. So it's pretty much impossible to find a virgin queen. I have, but it's, uh, it's difficult. I actually hear the piping, but it's coming from a different frame, so let me get this last one out. Pretty cool to find a virgin queen. Oh well, I'm not seeing her. I'm not hearing that anymore either. So typically from this point, uh, so apparently the queen just hatched out either yesterday or today, and she will fly out um, to what's called a drone congregation area. Somewhere there is an area where all the drones or the male honeybees go to and hang out that's what it sounds like i've never seen one i've never heard of anybody really talk about it but apparently there's an area that the drones hang out and the queen flies out finds that area and mates with several drones and then comes back and she never uh never has to mate again so she has a, enough uh enough of the sperm at that point to lay eggs for several years you know from what I've read so anyway it looks like they are uh, settling down into their new home you can see down on the front they are uh, 
There's several in the front with their butts sticking up in the air. There's still a few in the tree too, so I don't know. We'll leave them and come back tonight or in the morning and see what it looks like. So stay tuned.